Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the official Android 7.0 Nougat soap test release onto the Moto G4. So this will also work with the Moto G4 Plus as well. So um, the model G4 I have is the XT1622 model, 16 gig. So um, let's check out the version of Android I'm running at the moment. So I am running Android 6.0.1 and model there is Moto G4. For this to work you need to be on the latest build number which is MPJ24 13963 so you need to be on this build number there. This is the latest version of Marshmallow for the G4. Okay, so now that's out of the way, you'll need to head on to this link over in the description down below. Head on to this link and it'll take you to this web page. And this is where you can download the Android 7.0 firmware. So it tells you the model numbers here what it supports so it supports for XT1643, XT1648, XT1642, XT1622 that's the model I've got what I've just showed you and it supports the XT1626 model and as you can see downloads for the Moto G4 and the G4 Plus so if you've got the G4 Plus you're going to download the firmware from here so you just click on that link and download the firmware from there if you've got the G4 like I have you're going to scroll down to where it says Moto G4 Nugget Download and you're going to click on this link here and after these couple of seconds you're going to see a download link here so just click on the download now option and it will download the firmware once you've downloaded it just store it on your desktop here so I've got it stored on my desktop let's just go back here Scroll down a bit. Okay, so like I said before, there's a few requirements. You need to be running the stock firmware on your Moto G4. So if you are rooted, this isn't going to work. You need to be running the stock firmware. Um, if you're rooted and you don't know how to return to stock firmware, I'll leave a link to my tutorial in the description down below. Follow that video and you should be unrooted within no time then you can come back to this video to install the Android 7.0 firmware okay the next thing is like I mentioned before you need to be on the latest firmware which is MPJ24 13963 so you need to be on that firmware for this to work so to check if you are already on that firmware just go into the settings go to about phone and scroll down to the build number like I showed you before and just make sure you're on that 63 firmware MPJ24 13963 firmware if you're on that firmware then you're good to go you can go ahead and follow the rest of this video if you're not on that firmware just go to system updates and check to see if the updates available download it and install it and then you can carry on with this video to install Android 7.0 okay so like I said to you I've already downloaded the firmware from that link and I've stored it on my desktop so the next thing you need to do is just put the firmware connect your phone to the USB cable You might have to pull down your notifications here and select file transfer and 
and then select internal storage and then just drag and drop the 7.0 firmware onto there I've already done it, here it is just drag it onto your internal storage put it on there close that down and then you can go ahead and unplug your phone next thing you need to do is just power it off in fact let me just turn down the brightness a bit because I need to show you guys something okay so just power off okay so once you've powered off you're just going to press the volume up and down button just press in the middle of it and then press the power button at the same time just keep all of them held down okay it didn't quite work the first time let's just power it off again Okay, so you're just going to press the... Okay, let's just wait for it to boot up. Sorry about that, guys. That was my mistake. I'm trying to get it into the recovery mode. Okay, so let's try it again. Power off. And then you're going to press the volume. You're going to press the middle of the volume up and volume down button. You're going to press that and press the power button at the same time. Right. Until you go into this mode here. Okay, so now on the side, press your volume down button and keep pressing it down until you see the recovery mode option here then next just press the power button to select it okay you'll see this little android guy here and it will say no command so next just press the volume up button and the power button or press the power button and the volume up button sorry so press the power button and the volume up button and then you'll be in the recovery mode okay so next use the volume down button and go to apply update from SD card and then press the power button to select it and you should see the Android 7.0 firmware it's called Blur version 2431-64 Athene Retail so just use the volume down button and then use the power button to select it and now it's going to install the Android 7.0 update Okay, so the first thing it's going to do, it's going to verify the update package. So that's going to take a while. I'll be back shortly. 
Okay, so it's finished verifying the update package. So next, it's going to verify the current system. So that's going to take a while. Once again, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so now it's patching the system image after the verification. And once again, it's going to take a while, so I'll be back once it's finished doing that. Okay, so it's still patching the system image after verification. Guys, it's going to be stuck on that for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes or so, so don't be worried about it. It's all part of the installation process. So I'll be back once it completes. Okay, so we're on the move here. And now it's just finishing up. So it's patching the boot image, updating, updating. Removing OEM files. Okay, so you're just going to wait for it to say install from SD card complete. And then where it says reboot system now, you're just going to highlight it and press the power button to select it. And now the device will reboot. Okay, so the whole installation process, it took about 20, 25 minutes. So guys, like I said, um, just be patient, leave it to install and and you can just reboot it. Okay, so now we should be running Android 7.0. So let's just go into the settings here. And here it is about phone, Android 7.0. Which is Android N, and this is how you install the official Android 7.0 soap test onto the Moto G4 or the Moto G4 Plus. If my video helped you out, you already know what to do give it a thumbs up, leave any comments in the comment section down below. Um, another thing is, you might be wondering. If you've got the Android 7.0 sort test installed, when the official release does come out, um, the final release, will you still be able to get it? Well, you should still be able to get the notification on the device. If not, you will need to unroot and go back to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. If you don't know how to unroot and go back to, not unroot, sorry. If you don't know how to go back to Android 6.0, I'll leave a link to my tutorial in the description down below showing you how to put Android 6.0 back onto the Moto G4. But like I said, you should still get the notification whilst you're already on Android 7.0. But um, yeah, that's it for the video guys. If you liked the video, like I said, and it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, it's your boy, the Android Doctor. I'm out.